I got you to click on this video because you wanted to also learn how you could put in this sweet little flag instead of your Salesforce instance. Um, I don't blame you because it's pretty sweet to do. It's a nice visual representation of how you can reference something inside of Salesforce. And to boot, I mean, we're all admins here. We're not trying to develop anything. So what does that mean? I don't need to get into anything as far as like Apex or coding or adding an image or even static resources for that matter. We have sample images all ready to go inside of Salesforce. All you gotta do is know how to reference those within your formula. So really cut and dry, simple, easy to do to add these little uh, sample pictures that Salesforce gives you. And currently how this one is working inside of our highlights panel up here is we have a custom field that we created called case urgency. It displays our image and it's based upon whatever we edit over here on the priority. So if we change this over to like a high instead of medium, it will change that flag to red. If we change it to low, it should change it to a green one. And you can see up here, it's changed it to green, changed it to green. So I wanna show you how to do that. And then there's also some other sample images that you can also use in case you're not a fan of like the flag. They also have like a solid color, they have stars, they have a traffic light. Um, so I'll show you a couple different ones uh, that you can also reference inside there. So how do we do it? Well, number one, like I said, you gotta create a custom field. So we created a new custom field called case urgency. We're using the function here, case, uh, which is you know, really similar to like an if statement. Um, so if you're not super familiar with it, I actually have a different uh, video that you can reference inside of my channel that goes over case completely. Um, so you can kind of get familiar with that. But what we have here is we're looking at the priority and if it's low, then we wanna throw this green flag, right? If it's medium, then we wanna throw the yellow flag. And if it's high, we wanna throw the red flag. And you might be wondering, okay, that's cool. I know how to use a case function and I know how to uh, reference something inside of there. Where did you actually find those? Well, if you go to your classic Salesforce help page over here, they actually show you a lot of them. If you look for this sample image link formula, they have all of these here that uh, you can also reference that are samples. So you have like your flags, the one that we're using, um, they have color squares, like I said, they have traffic lights, they have stars. So you can kind of play around with this a little bit and throw in different types of things in case you don't want to use the flag, which is kind of cool. They give you some different options to use. So what I have over here is some of those options. So let's go ahead and chuck in the traffic lights so you can kind of see how that looks. Um, I've copied that. So all we got to do is just paste it in here. Now it should reference those lights as you're seeing here. So let's give that a quick save, jump back over to our, our test case here, do a refresh now that we've saved it. And you can see that there's now a traffic light there. And that should also change depending on whatever I put in here. So nice way that you can do that one. They also have a star one that you can do uh, that might be interesting to you. We can go ahead and hit edit here once again change this out for the star one. I um, think I pasted that twice, so let's do that one more time. Great, hit save, let's refresh this. Now what we should see is a different set of stars, and for this one we have a five star if it's high, I think it's three star if it's medium. Yep, and then we also have, I probably, I think I did the low, the one star for low, which we did. So it's kind of a cool way that you can uh, throw this in your highlights panel, give a nice visual reference for somebody to look at versus just trying to look for words. It's kind of quicker, I would say, for like a user just jumping into a case, they can hurry and look at this and be like, oh, okay, this is the uh, case urgency or the priority level of what we gotta take care of here.